assigned to me. I was fired today. Oh, from, from work? <laughs> yes, that's where men usually get fired from, Fran. Oh. What did you do? Chase some customers out of the store with a lamp? I went crazy. I, I put cheese in my coffee. What? <laughs> they fired you for putting cheese in your coffee? Well, that was after I called McNeil a buttock smoocher. Oh, <laughs> and I oh. sort of acted it out. Oh, pardon why? You know why? Oh, anyways, don't worry. You know, you may have lost the job, but we are in this together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> together, really? Yeah. Well, how come I blame you? Me? Yeah. That lunch you packed me was so horrible, it, it made me wig out. I went crazy. I went all wiggy, friend. Oh, jeez! It was a perfectly good lunch. Soup in a bag, Fran. <laughs> soup in a bag. A man works all morning and he's subjected to soup in a bag. Yeah. Well, you never bring bowls back. <laughs> Don't kick me when I'm down, Fran. Oh, okay. Not to despair, hon. After all, you and I lived through the Depression. Yeah. This will be a piece of cake. All right, then you'll have to get a job. Uh, outside the home. That's where people usually find their jobs, Fran. Oh, oh well, oh, that's all right. I'm highly skilled. Uh-huh. Yeah, lots that I can do. Right. Oh, my God. I suppose I'm going to have to learn how to operate a computer. Fran, a woman your age, a computer would eat you alive. <laughs> no, we're going to have to sell the roof. The roof? <laughs> well, I don't want to sell the whole house, Fran. The house? Okay, we'll sell the house. Who would it go? Not the house. Yeah. Oh, because of a bag of soup. Uh, oh, my God, I'm going to lose my home. I'm going to have to say goodbye to my spice rack. Oh, we'll end up living in a refrigerator box. I'll have to wash my hair in a puddle. We'll have to wear plastic bags on our feet for boots. We'll get those teeth that street people have. I'm already starting to itch. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm going to my room. I'll see you later. Ryan! Come on! Get back here. Get up here. Sit down. On what? Yeah. Your father has an announcement. Brian? It's 35 degrees in Tampa Bay, Florida. Good morning. Well, it is. Your father was fired from work today. Oh, well. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to my room. See you later. Brian! Brian! Come on. March back come on. here! Come on, come on. Don't you realize what this means? Oh, no. You mean Dad's gonna be around the house more? Yeah, a lot of quality time on my hands oh. to watch you like a hawk, friend. No, you and I are gonna have to get some jobs. Start pulling our weight around here. Yeah, you're gonna look pretty good in a hairnet and a McDonald's hat. A hairnet? Yeah, minimum wage earner, a hairnet. Oh my God, it's happening oh. already, just like Lord of the Flies. Oh. Not a hairnet. Oh, come on. I don't want to listen to this, you selfish little bugger. How about me, hmm? Traipsing around town in one pair of nylons like a war bride? Oh, but a hairnet? Yeah, come well, on. maybe that's where your hair belongs, in a net. Like a fish. What? Gordon! You push! Oh, Jeez. You. Oh. I didn't get fired. Oh, oh, I... Oh. They'd die without me, and so would you, puppy dog. Here, did you see... That was horrible. That was horrible, Gordon. Not funny, not funny. Not for me, it was kind of fun. See, a man's home is his castle. I just wanted to remind you who was king. Bingo. Well, you can expect a visit from Children's Aid, Dad. Uh -huh. I'm scared. You know what that was? That was abuse, pure and simple. Don't be surprised to see Brian and I in one of those daytime talk shows spilling the beans. <laughs> Oh, Fran, you're pent up. Oh. Here, why don't you relax and uh, pull my finger? <clears throat> Come on, give it a go. What? Well, that's not. Oh. Fran, you're hurting me. Oh, what's Come going on? That's not funny, Fran. Fran, it's not funny. You're playing or not. Fran. Oh. Fran. Oh. Fran. Oh. Fran. Hello? Pretty nice duck. Thanks. Come on. Okay, start your nose bleeding. Yeah, make your nose bleed, huh? No. 
You have to. You're a freak. I don't have to do anything. Thank you very much. Oh, come on. We came all the way in from the country for this. Yeah, we made our uncle Tony drive us in a truck to see the nosebleeder. Yeah. So make it bleed. I don't care. I'm on my lunch break. Wow, what a bad freak show, It is huh? so lame. Really rotten. Look, kids, you're not going to guilt me to nosebleeding for you. If you're not enjoying yourself at the freak show, it's not my responsibility. My only responsibility is to myself, to make sure that I'm a healthy, functioning person who doesn't live in a state of denial. What? <laughs> what? I don't... Listen up, kids, maybe you'll learn a thing or two. There are three steps to a good life. One, live and let live. Two, live one day at a time. And three, I am number one. You see, I've done some pretty good nose bleeding today, and right now I'm on my lunch break. To nose bleed for you now would be denying my rights as an individual. I bet you can't even make your nose bleed. Yeah, I bet that's a bit yeah. fake. You're a fraudulent yeah, freak. Yeah, that's fraud. who you are. I'll call it Better Business yeah. Bureau freak. Oh, come on, kids. Is that a frontal attack on my vanity? Oh, no. They don't believe I can nose bleed. Well, I'll show them a bleed and bleed and bleed. Yay! Yay. It's about time. No, no. Look, kids, I don't have to impress anybody anymore. Oh, sure, when I was young and I was desperate to make friends, I would nosebleed at the drop of a hat. <laughs> but now I accept myself for what I am. A 30 inch bachelor whose interests include model airplanes and pottery, and whose profession is nosebleeding. And if you can't accept that, then I'm afraid your friendship isn't needed here. Friendship? <laughs> Who wants to be your friend? You're a freak. <laughs> Piss on! <laughs> Just piss off. You're the most bitter man I've ever met. Yeah. No, I'm the happiest. No, you're sad and bitter. No, as a matter of fact, I'm happy and joyous. You're you know the pathetic, truth. sir. Yeah, that's no, right. no. You're a pathetic freak. He's yeah. in his own filth in a cave. Oh, yeah, come here and say that. Oh, great. Oh, oh great. Wow. Nothing like a major dose of stress to get my nose bleeding right on my new Mandarin jacket. Thanks. Thanks for that stress, kid. That's not so hot anyway. Yeah. Get out of here. Go see the chicken lady. You'll like her. She's an emotional dependent and has to please anybody she happens to be with. Go watch her lay her eggs. Yeah! Come on, lay her. Hurry up. Boy, you're going to do it or not? where we get our ideas. Hey, would you like to buy some hash? <laughs> no. No, I wouldn't like to buy any hash. <laughs> okay, man. Just ask him. Well then, goodbye. <laughs> Officer, we have some hash dealers in the neighborhood. Could you take care of us, please? <laughs> McDonald, the kids in the hall, reminding all you kids out there that thinking is good, drugs are bad. You know, when I first read the novel 1984, I actually agreed with several Big Brother's theories and thought that he got a bum rap. Now that means calling the cops or your parents after they have a pot party, so be it. I've done that, and I think I'm the better for it. So from now on, watch our show, laugh a little, and say no to Mr. Hash Dealer. Sure, officer. <laughs> Sure. I saw the cops coming from a mile away, so I planted the stuff on the comedian. <laughs> Hi, officers. How did it go? I know you want an autograph. Everybody wants an autograph. Is there something wrong? Look, I can't smoke hash. I'm an asthmatic. You are an asthmatic. We'll give you your prison. Is that what you want? Yes, it's hash. It's not my hash. I have a TV show. Are you aware of my TV show? Yeah. Uh, Sarge couldn't come. He said you could give your report to me. Okay, uh, well, uh, I first noticed the uh, gentleman, uh, down on the boardwalk here. He was, uh, harassing passers-by, uh, when I approached him uh, to question him, uh, he struck me as uh, disoriented and uh, confused. Uh, I asked him to produce ID. He would not do so. Uh, 
and he became abusive towards the uh, badge, so I uh, placed him under arrest. And that's when you locked your keys in the car? Yeah. Is this the gentleman here? Yeah, that's him. Honey, could you change the sheets? Are these clean sheets? Honey? Sweetie, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Boy, I love clean sheets. <laughs> this has got to be one of life's greatest moments. <laughs> Don't you think, honey? I can't think of anything else better. Nothing else even comes close. <laughs> Actually, drinking a mug of cold beer is pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, clean sheets, a mug of frosty <laughs> brew on a hot day. These have got to be life's greatest moments. Of course, a big dump is pretty good. <laughs> Nothing beats a long dump in the morning just before you go to work. Yeah, the 20 minute dump in the morning is a slice of heaven. Gives you time to collect your thoughts. Don't you think, honey? I can't think of anything else better, except for maybe shooting a man in self-defense. And it was self-defense, right, honey? You saw it all, and that is your story in court tomorrow, right, honey, sweetie? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Clean sheets and a rock hard alibi. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier. is murder. How does the defense plead? Your Honor, the defense would like to plead not guilty. Fine, then the court finds in favor of the defense. Your client is free to go. <laughs> what? Yes! 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 Honey, we need to be able to find my murder weapon. Where's the man's room? Your Honor, may I approach the bench, please? Yes, you may. Your Honor, did it ever occur to you that the defendant might have been lying? Well, Mr. District Attorney, no. No, that never occurred to me. But we have seven eyewitnesses. His prints were all over the murder weapon. His shirt was soaked with the victim's blood. As a matter well, of fact... Well, maybe I'm just not as cynical as you are. <laughs> that young man says he's not guilty. I'm afraid that's good enough for me. Now, we have a very busy schedule. I suggest we move along. Call the next case, please. The court calls Buddy the Killer Cole. <laughs> Mr. Killer, this is your appeal hearing. How does the defense plead? Sir, the uh, defense is prepared to plead guilty to a lesser charge of... Ooh. Innocent, Your Honor. Fine case dismissed. You're free to go. Oh, and by the way, I'm a great fan of your monologues. Thanks. <laughs> Let's see if we can't save a little bit of time here. Is there anyone in this court who is guilty? Well, of oh, course. No, 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 no. All these cases. Fine, everyone is found not guilty. Everyone is free to go. Yes. Mr. District Attorney, would you please approach the bench? Tell me, did you even bother to ask any of these people if they were guilty? Well, of course. And? And they said they were innocent. Mr. But... District Attorney, it has never been the practice of this court to put innocent people in jail just to further my own career. May I suggest, Mr. District Attorney, that this is the wrong line of work for a man like you. After all, just because your name is Mr. District Attorney does not mean this is the only job you can hold. <laughs> my name isn't Mr. District Attorney. People just call me that because I'm the district attorney. Well, fine, then it should be very easy for you to put this little career mistake behind you. <laughs> this court is now adjourned. If anyone needs me, I'll be in chambers drawing amusing caricatures of prominent political figures. <laughs> and stop kicking the bench, you big baby. <laughs> well, people have been known to lie. It's not a part of human nature that I'm particularly proud of. People lie. And I think your monologues are a little long. <laughs>